Hey guys, it's Megan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you what's on my Apple Watch. I got the Apple Watch Series 7. It has a 41mm screen, a starlight aluminum case, and the band that I got was called the Wisteria Modern Buckle. I just got the Wi-Fi version, but they also have a cellular option. Honestly, I wasn't too sure about this band at first. Um, I probably should have got it in a more neutral color, but overall, it's actually pretty comfortable. It has these two magnetic pieces that you snap together. I was a little bit worried about them coming undone, but... So far, so good. It's actually pretty decent quality. It is kind of annoying that you have to take the whole entire watch off if you want to adjust it, but it's not the end of the world. And I also got the freaking um, wall plug separately too because they make you do that now, which this irritates me like so much. I mean, it's not just Apple, but I hate that all these companies keep getting away with essentially charging you more for less product under the guise of helping the environment. Like, I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but to me it kind of seems like there was some kind of ulterior motive behind that decision. Ultimately, I still bought it though, so clearly I'm part of the problem. So now let's move on to what's actually on my Apple Watch. Before I got this, I had the Fitbit Versa. So that's kind of like my reference point and what I'll be comparing the Apple Watch to. So here's what my default watch face looks like. This one is the infographic modular watch face. I have the date and time in the upper right. And in the upper left, I have the Health Face app, which is really just like an easy way to see your stats for the day. This is actually a good option if you want to be able to see your steps on your watch. There is also an app called Pedometer Plus Plus that you can get if you want to see the steps on the actual watch face. But the problem with that is that it doesn't update unless you like click on it to refresh it. It doesn't refresh on the screen on its own like it would on a Fitbit. So that's kind of useless in my opinion. But with the Health Face app, you can like go into the app on your phone and choose what data that you want to see on here. You can technically get all of this information in the fitness app. So the thing that I like about this is that you can put the ones that are the most important to you at the top. In the middle, I have the things app, which is like a to-do list app. I actually really love this app. I've been using this for a little over a year now. And this has actually been really convenient because I can just glance at it and see what I have to do without having to open up my phone. And when I finish a task, I can just click here and check it off the list. I also have this app as a widget on my phone screen, so when I open up my phone, it's right there. That was something that I didn't exactly understand about the Apple Watch before actually getting one, is that pretty much most of the apps that you can get for your Apple Watch, they're just an extension of the ones that you like already have on your phone. On the bottom left of the screen, I have this plus button, which is pretty much just a shortcut to add something new to the to-do list. Honestly, I've never really been the type of person to like use Siri or any of the other voice features on my phone, but those features actually really come in handy with the Apple Watch. It does have a keyboard, but it can be kind of frustrating to type on since it's so small. It's a whole lot easier to just click the microphone and quickly say what you need to. And next to that, I have my rings. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like the whole like ring system, but it's actually been super easy to get used to. In comparison to the Fitbit, which focuses on steps, the Apple Watch is more focused on how many calories you burn throughout the day or how much you move throughout the day. I don't really know which one is like more accurate it, but the algorithms that they use to calculate how many calories you burn during the day seem to kind of be different. Okay, so here's an example. But let's go on the Fitbit. On September 3rd, it says that I burned 2,665 calories, and to do that, I needed to take 20,802 steps. And with the Apple Watch, here on December 1st, the Apple Watch says that I burned 2,709 calories, which is like around the same. But for this one, it says that I only took 15,457 steps. So that's like 5,000 less steps. And I mean, like, of course, you're not going to be doing the exact same exercises or whatever every single day. But with the Fitbit, it was like very consistent. The amount of calories that it would say that you burned would be directly correlated with the number of steps that you would take. While the Apple Watch seems to be more focused on your heart rate. Of course, with any type of smartwatch, the technology is not going to be perfect. Everyone has different metabolisms and muscle mass, and honestly, I would not rely on the numbers that they give you super heavily. I will say though, when I compare the heart rate that's on my Apple Watch with the heart rate on my Polar heart rate monitor, they actually come really close. Usually they're exactly the same, and if they're not, they're within like three beats per minute of each other. And the Polar one is the chest strap, which is considered one of the more accurate ways to get your heart rate. So 
I would say that the Apple Watch is actually pretty accurate. And something else that's different about the Apple Watch is that you actually have to go in and like physically click something on the screen when you start a workout. Because with the Apple Watch, the heart rate monitor, it won't take as many readings while you're at rest. If I'm just sitting at my desk doing something, it will only take your heart rate every couple minutes. But when you go in and start a workout, it will take your heart rate every couple seconds. And what I like about the workout app on the Apple Watch is that it will show you your active calories and your um, total calories. Active calories is just the total number minus what you would have burned just kind of like sitting around anyways. And by presenting the data this way instead of having it all together, I kind of like tricked my brain to only focus on the active calories and it's helped me to push myself further than I would have if I had just seen the number all together. So that was the main watch face that I use. But I also have this one which is the modular duo watch face. This one's fairly similar. I have my rings, the time, the things app with my to-do list. But in the middle, I have the streaks app, which is like a habit tracker. This is super customizable. I set mine up so that I have daily habits on the first page and weekly habits on the second. I don't have a ton on here, but for daily habits, I wanna post on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok, clean for 20 minutes, and clean my cat's litter boxes. And for weekly habits, I have post on YouTube and vacuum. It's kind of like the rings, you know, I don't really stress about getting it perfect every single day. At this point, my philosophy is just like, something's better than nothing. Really setting the bar over here. But those are the main apps that I use that didn't already come with the watch. Definitely let me know if you have any recommendations though. Apple Watches come with a bunch of built-in apps too. My favorite one is the camera remote app. It will automatically connect to your phone and it even has this little viewfinder to help you see what you're doing. It also has a little like find my iPhone button when you swipe up, which has been super useful. Um, when you press this, it will ring really loud and you can usually figure out where your phone is. I usually like the watch faces that have more complications on them, but you can also do ones that's like just a picture. I think this would be a good option if you go to some sort of like event or something, but you don't want to take off your watch. I know some people get like really annoyed at people that wear Apple watches or whatever to like weddings or things like that. You got a band to match your outfit, pick out a cute watch face. I think that could look pretty nice. I mean, or don't. It's your life, like, I don't care. Something that I've seen other people do that I thought was cool is that they'll take a picture of, like, the fabric of whatever outfit that they're wearing, and then they'll turn that into their watch background. I think that's so cute. The Series 7 has an always-on display, which I really like, but you do have the option to turn that off if you want to save your battery. That's definitely one of the main cons of getting an Apple Watch, is that the battery life on these sucks. You have to charge it every single day, which usually isn't an issue, but it's not gonna last you six days out in the woods like a Fitbit will. I've also noticed that if you're more active during the day, the battery will die faster, which, I mean, makes sense. Kind of annoying though still. So is the Apple Watch worth it? I would say yes. I have been loving my Apple Watch and so far there have been a lot more positives than negatives. It's definitely been a nice upgrade from the Fitbit and the extra features are definitely worth the extra cost. Honestly, I don't really change the band out that much like I thought that I would but I've kept this same band on it the whole time and it really doesn't match anything although it does match this shirt clearly I think out my decisions I went with the series 7 hoping that it would last as long as possible hopefully I'll be able to get through like the maximum amount of software updates before it dies gotta love apple but that was everything for this video make sure to let me know if you have an apple watch and what your favorite slash most used apps are so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one my merch my website and all of my social media will be linked down below i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys later bye